Good morning, Watermark Church. Uh, looking forward to another time with you as we go through 1 Peter together. We continue our study uh, this morning on 1 Peter and, and come to a passage that deals with what I believe to be one of the biggest ongoing problems we have as genuinely growing Christians. You see, if we have placed our faith in Jesus Christ and are sincerely seeking to follow Him, if we're reading our Bibles regularly, if we're deeply involved in church life, if we're praying and witnessing and and doing the things we should be doing, I I would take it for granted that there are a lot of aspects of the old life that are largely cleared up in us. Most likely, we're not struggling with the biggies of sinfulness like theft or murder or promiscuity or drunkenness or chronic lying. Most likely, if we're genuine about our faith and are going in in the right direction with the Lord, most of those old sinful practices are in the rearview mirror. Praise God. But I believe there's at least one area of life with which even the most mature, most seasoned, most church-going Christians among us will still tend to struggle. We don't typically put it in the same category as we place other other major sins, but it's still a grievous sin nevertheless, and one that we usually have a hard time getting past. It also happens to be a very serious matter, because a persistent failure in this particular area of obedience is a sin that causes the unbelieving people of this world to turn away from us and reject our message. This great sin is our failure to obey Jesus' command to love one another as He has loved us. We may have almost everything else in our lives in order and yet be failing in our obedience to God by the fact that we harbor an attitude of bitterness or resentment or hostility toward another brother or sister in Christ and do not sincerely love them as we should. Will you join me to worship our King Jesus as we go to 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 22-23? How do we love each other deeply? Also, I want to invite you um, at 8.45 in the morning on Sunday as we pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ in Afghanistan and, and also in Haiti. Uh, will you join me at 8.45 as we pray for them and, and see the body of Christ come together. Uh, may God bless you. I will see you tomorrow.